let's take a look at problem 324a we're running through a loan amortization schedule so let's read the question we'll see what we're up against and i think these ones aren't too hard and in fact if you've ever had a loan you you may have seen one of these before you borrow a hundred thousand dollars on a 10-year loan the loan has nine percent annual interest rate and requires you to make equal annual payments um I know that they don't tell you how much those equal annual payments are. So for us to do a schedule, we got to figure out how much the payment is. And in fact, before we can do a schedule, we got to figure out what that payment is. So we're going to solve for the payment. If we look at our PV of an annuity formula, we're solving for this, the regular cash flow. I'll solve it first in the financial calculator, then we'll do it by hand, and then we'll prepare our loan amortization table. So uh, let's go through it. Uh, what am I going to input into my calculator? Well, let's start with the N. Number of periods is 10. There's 10 years. It's annual interest. So 10 periods, 10 payments. Um, what's next? I slash Y, the discount rate. The discount rate here is 9%. PV, well, what is the value today? We're borrowing. We're getting 100,000. Let's put in a positive 100,000 as the PV. Uh, the next one is PMT. That's what we're solving for. And the last one is FV, and that's going to be zero because we're paying off this loan over the 10-year period. Okay, so let's solve. 10 goes in as N, 9 goes in as IY, 100,000 positive goes in as PV, zero goes in as FV, and I'm going to compute PMT. I get PMT of 15 582.00. Well, I guess 0 0.01. I'm just going to leave it 15582. Okay. So um, let's do that in the uh, PV of an annuity. If you want, you can skip ahead like a minute, you know, if you are satisfied with 15582, but we'll do the math here. So PV is 100,000. We know this is 100,000 equals, we're solving for C times 1 minus. 1 over 1.09, 1 plus r, to the t, to the power of 10, all divided by r, which is 0 0.09. Okay, let's solve. 1.09 to the 10th power. I go 1 over that number, so 1 over x. I go 1 minus that number, so I do minus 1. Hit the plus minus 0.5775 divided by 0.09. And now my brackets, the, the total amount of what's in brackets is 6.42, say. So it's 100,000 equals C times 6.42. Solving for C, C equals 100,000 over 6.42. And I'll just take this number, which is, you know, no uh, rounding here. I hit 1 over X times 100,000. And that gets me the answer of 15,582. C equals 15,582. And look at that. That was our payment from before. Okay, so we've solved for the payment, but that isn't answering the question. That question said, give me a, an amortization schedule for the loan. Here's how we do it. We start with a beginning amount. Beginning value, I suppose, would be one way of putting it. And the beginning value of our loan is $100,000. This is year one. How, how much are we paying? Well, we make a payment of 15,582. How much is interest of our payment? And the interest is 9% times the beginning value. So the interest here in year one, we have a loan that's 100 grand times 0.09, 9,000. So if I make a $15,000 payment, 9,000 goes to interest. How much goes to actually reduce the loan? We call this the principal. You could call it principal reduction, I suppose, but it's $6,500, 6582. And it's just 15 minus nine is six. So what's the ending value of the loan then? Or the ending balance? After we've made the payment, the value or the balance left on the loan, 100,000 minus what we paid down 6582 remember the 15 grand 
bunch of it went to interest. Only six grand went to pay down the, the loan. We're at 93,418. Okay, that's year one. We were asked to do three years. Now there are 10 years, but we're just gonna do years two and three. We start year two with what we ended year one with, 93,418. We make another payment. The payment's always the same, 15,582. Our interest is 9% of the beginning value, 9% of 93 grand this time, so times 0.09. It's 840, I'll call it 8408. 93,418 minus 84,08. Or sorry, sorry, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying the wrong thing here. Uh, $15,000 payment, $8,000 was interest. How much was principal? 15,582 minus 8,408 is 7,174. I had a loan that started at 93 grand. I paid down, I paid 15 grand, but 8,000 was interest. The other 7,000 paid down the loan. What is my new loan balance? I'll take 7174 minus 93,418. Hit the plus minus, it's 86,000. So it's just 93 minus seven is 86. 86,244. Okay, last one. Start with 86,244. I make a $15,582 payment. How much of that went to interest? Well, 86,244 times 9% is 7,762. And the principal then, if it's $15,000 repayment, 7,700 is interest, almost half. It's basically almost right on the nose, half. Uh, 15,582 payment. Minus 7762 means 7820 went to pay down the principal. So I had an eighty-six thousand dollar loan. I paid off seventy-eight hundred dollars of principal. Eight six two four four means if I take eighty-six minus seven, I end up at seventy-eight four twenty-four. Seventy-eight four two four. And we could keep going. And in fact, I did this in Excel previously as I was setting it up. And you can see Excel, I went to the penny, but let's just sort of compare notes here. So uh, a couple of things uh, happen as you look at this. Uh, the first is we, we matched, right? 93,418, 93,418, 86,244, 86,246, 78,424. Yes, right. We, we got it right. Um, so Congratulations to us. We've solved the problem. Thumbs up. The only other thing I wanted to call your attention to is when you look at one of these long ones, like if you have a 30 year mortgage or something like this, you will, I look at these things and it kind of makes me want to puke. And what makes me want to puke is when I look at the total payments, 15 times 10 is 155. Eight hundred and twenty dollars and ten cents. So one hundred and fifty-five thousand. Remember, we borrowed a hundred thousand dollars. Nine percent interest is not insane interest. We paid. We make one hundred and fifty-five grand in payments to pay back a hundred grand. We paid fifty-five thousand dollars of interest. That's like a year's salary for. Uh, and like a pretty good salary. And that's not even a ton of money that we borrowed. A hundred grand. So you borrow a hundred grand for ten years you're giving up a year's salary to do it. Whenever I see those numbers, I always total up the interest. And I always think, Ugh, it's good not to get into debt if you can avoid it, right? These very long-term debts just sap away at people's cash flow. So I know there's a finance class, there's a lot of lending and borrowing going on, but on a personal level, whenever I look at one of these tables, I always get Ugh, uncomfortable. I think that's what makes me an accountant and not a great corporate finance professor. So uh, I know I'm teaching finance material, but know this, I'm an accountant and I'm very financially conservative in my own life because I look at tables like this and they make me very uh, uncomfortable. Anyway, hopefully this problem didn't make you uncomfortable and hopefully you're comfortable hitting one of those buttons. I'm just pointing at the air right now, but I think on the screen I'm pointing at the buttons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.